Christmas came a little early this year. So I was with my mother and she so graciously asked me what I like for Christmas. Like the good son I am and living in this day and age where we have all this technology, I gave her my Amazon wish list, which was filled with, well, if I'm a photographer with the wish list on Amazon, you can imagine how heavily priced everything was. One of the things on the list though was a film camera from Canon. She saw that um, and I told her, I'm like, hey, that's actually kind of one of the things that I've been saving up some money for. And she's like, oh yeah, I have this film camera from back, I'm not gonna say when because I don't wanna date my mother too much and have her come here and kill me. She bought this camera back when she first started nursing because as she put it, I was single, I was nursing, I was making a lot of money, so why not? <laughs> Everybody needs a hobby. I am not single, I don't have that much money, and I'm still a photographer. So she told me that she had this film camera and she's like, you want a film camera for Christmas? I have a film camera. Why don't I just give it to you now? So, so I have this thing now. You have no idea. Well, most of you don't even know who I am, but you guys have no idea how excited I am to start using this. Now, a few things, especially when it comes to film. One thing that I've been noticing is that I mean, with the whole resurgence of record players and older techno retro technology coming back, film, shooting film, is something that's been getting some popularity again. And another thing is, I like being in control in a lot of things in my life. When it comes to shooting with photography, everything is in a manual setting. The car that I drive, it's a standard transmission. I like being in control of everything. I like to know that everything is in my hands and it's under my control. This is just the continuation of that. Now, I'm, when she gave me this and I'm looking at it, first off, realizing I have no idea how to shoot with film. It's like, I grew up with this and I'm a photographer now, and I don't know how to use this. I mean, obviously I know how to, how, I know how to, I know how the camera works, I know how all the settings work, but this is very manual. Like, there's no automatic anything on this camera. You have to load the film yourself. I mean, we have sensors and technology. I have built-in Wi-Fi in this camera that I'm using right now. You have to load your own film, set it. These lenses, there's nothing automatic about them. These things aren't automatically sta stabilized. There's no software inside of the thing that's going to stabilize your image. With that being said, you also have to manually set your shutter speed. ISO is all controlled by the film that you're using. And everything on this lens is, everything is just manual. First off, I love that when I first got my camera right here, the first thing I did is I put everything in manual and I just started to learn everything. I'm gonna do the same thing with this. Next thing I realized was when I take a picture, I have no idea what that picture looks like until I develop this film. That's weird as a photographer nowadays. When I'm taking a picture with this camera, I take the picture, I hit playback, and I see my photo. Or, I use the Wi-Fi that's built in my camera, hook it up to my phone, send it to my phone, and I can start editing that photo right off the bat, right there, with just taking um, that picture a couple seconds ago. This thing, I already took a couple photos with this. I have to take a picture, I have no idea what it looks like. I have to wait until I use up this entire roll of film before I see what any of these pictures look like. That's weird and a little scary because if I take one picture, I don't know if my settings are right or not. 
this is really forcing me to think about every single one of my settings. What is my aperture set at? What is my shutter speed? What kind of, what kind of film am I using again? This is like it's ex it's exciting but it's daunting almost because with everything being so automatic having everything under your control and then not seeing what the results are going to be until whenever I decide to develop this film that's kind of scary also kind of exciting it's going to cost me a lot of money to really get good at this but I'm excited it's like I flip a little switch on the side of this lens right here and it focuses automatically. I'm looking at the playback screen right now and it's tracking my face. Obviously, this thing obviously doesn't shoot video, but this is quite simply, I'm going to set my shutter speed. Then I want to set my aperture. Let's do, let's make it a little more forgiving. Let's make it, let's put it at four. It's going to be my F stop. Then, all right, film's in position. Manually focus on the camera. Make sure I'm getting a good angle on this. So you can already start seeing how much I need to do just to get one, one photo. One second, I'm gonna go off to the side a little bit. I forgot there's an on switch for this thing. And push the film forward. I'm ready to take my next photo. This is weird. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to see what I can do with this. Um, you can kind of see how long it just takes me to take one good photo. Where this, I can shoot off a million photos a second and just Choose one and I'll be happy, I'll be all set, and I'll get paid for whatever gig I'm doing. I couldn't imagine being a photographer back in this day. This is a lot of work and you don't even know if what you're doing is right. There's a lot of te technicality to this. This, you can almost get good at uh, digital photography by accident. This is where the true challenge comes in. I'm excited. Hopefully I can get some amazing stuff with this, share with you guys. Definitely going to be uploading this to my Instagram once I finally figure out how to develop film. I want to develop it myself. I don't want to give it to anybody else. I want to learn how to develop it myself. I want every single step of this process to be done by me. Uh, yeah. So, that's going to be a lot. But don't care. I'm going to be very happy with the product that I get. Once I get everything developed, I'm going to be dumping a lot of stuff on Instagram. Links down below. And, yeah. I'll probably be, maybe, we'll see. If I can get any good at this, I'm going to be doing tutorials on how to shoot with film. I'm going to be doing tutorials on how to develop film once I know how to do it. But yeah, with that, I'll talk to you guys soon. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and I'm going to do my best to learn how to do this. Till then, I'm going to be editing some photos right now, and you guys have an amazing day. See you in the next one.